And we're here at the uh, Book Soup in West Hollywood. The legendary Mr. Gary U.S. Bonds. Welcome to Hollywood. Well, welcome. I'm glad to be here. Mr. What's going on tonight? Uh, we're going to sign some books and uh, have a good time, talk to some uh, nice folks, and uh, just enjoy ourselves for an evening. Brand new autobiography of? Of uh, That's My Story by U.S. Bonds. Tell me uh, about your book just a little bit. What's inside it without giving it away? And, and what motivated you to do this after so many years? Well, I finally got somebody that would actually write it for me because I could, I didn't have a clue how to do this thing. Always wanted to do it. I've always had people that asked me to do it. And now I got Stephen Cooper to help me and uh, it's coming out perfect. Who inspired you when you were younger as far as getting into music and uh, just your career took off. What was your big inspiration? Because you've inspired a lot of great people. Well, you know, I've always admired, you know, the Sam Cooks and the Jackie Wilson and the B.B. Kings and the Joe Texas and all those guys, you know. And I, I tried to emulate Clyde McFadden when I was a kid, but I couldn't find underwear tight enough to get those high notes out of there. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I kept trying until I developed my own uh, uh, signature. The sound. forward of your book is by Van Zandt. Tell me why that is, why that's a special thing for you. Well, he's, he's always been a very good friend of mine. I've known, I've known Van Zandt since uh, the oldie second, when he was playing with the Dovells and so forth, we became friends. And uh, then when he went with Bruce, you know, we got a chance meeting again, you know, and uh, with him and Clarence and everybody. And we've just been buddy buddies for a hundred years. And Bruce Springsteen was influenced by you. Tell me how you two met. We met at a club in Jersey. He came out to Jersey to uh, to, to see me mm -hmm. when I was working the Holiday Inn circuit. I laughingly referred to it as. And um, he, he just came in with a couple of his friends, got on stage with me, we sang a couple of songs. That was 1976, and we've remained friends ever since. Your story is in a book now. If you had to pull out one story, I know there's a lot of them, which one kind of keeps coming over and over in your mind and you're, and you're glad it's in there? What story really stands out for you? I, 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 there's a lot of them like that. They're like, they're like my, my songs, you know. I can't pick one song. All my stories are important to me because they, uh, they're, they're about my, me and my friends and my family, which are very important to me. So to pick one would be like picking my only child out of that. I can't do that. And New Orleans, why did you sing the song about New Orleans? And when you go there, do you sing that song? Yeah. It was actually two years after I recorded the song that I went to New Orleans. But I didn't write it. It was written by Joe Royster. And uh, he put it, in, a, he, he put it in, in his song. It was a country song in the beginning. And uh, they wanted me to record it that way, and I went, man, I don't think I want to do country, you know? So I changed it around and uh, it came out with the, uh, the Hey, 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 which is kind of a copy uh, of uh, Cap Calloway's Heidi, 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 Ho. Great. You know, it made it work. What's coming up in July? You've got a concert coming up for a performance. July 5th, I think it is. Uh, July 5th, well, I'm going to be right here with Book Soup. Yeah, All right, so you'll be back. I'll be, I'll be right back here in Book Soup. And, and then we got to go to uh, Norfolk, Virginia, and do a concert. That's what I was there. talking about. That's the one. Yeah, we're going to be in Norfolk, Virginia, my hometown. And we're doing a concert out there with the mayor and the whole bit, you know. So you're looking forward to that? Oh, yeah. Well, I always look forward to going home. All right. Well, listen, you know? uh, thanks for talking, and good luck with the book, and I uh, hope you sell a lot of books. Thank you so much, George.